What's up, Leo? It's your girl, Sid, from Savvy Cynthian, and welcome to your February 2022 general reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel tremendously. If you are not new here, welcome back. Please make sure you subscribe too. <laughs> All subscribers do have a chance at winning a free personal reading with me. I will be choosing two every week. So uh, please interact with the content. That's how I will choose um, based on who I see. Okay. Um, if you all are interested in just booking a personal reading, if you would like to join my Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook or follow me on any of my other social media, all that information will also be linked in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, Leo. What is the overall energy of this reading for you, Leo? Okay. So we have the full card showing up here. The full card is a card of new beginnings. This is optimism and taking a leap of faith. You are about to enter a new cycle in your life. And guess what? At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is going to be a very stable new beginning for you. Perhaps a lot of money in your future. Better like, let your girl hold something. I don't know. Okay, let's see what this is all about. All right. All right. Tell me what's going on with the Leo Collective. It's already feeling financial, but maybe it's just a stable new relationship. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. This is general. So if I'm talking about a job and it feels like your love life, then honey, it's your love life. So we have the Ace of Wands showing up first. So definitely a new passionate beginning, something that you're um, very excited about. Okay, we do have the Two of Pentacles showing up as well with the Knight of Wands. So something that you are um, rushing towards passionately. We have the World in Reverse, Chariot, and the Six of Wands. Mm, what is what is this? What is this? Because it would seem, Leo, that you would be very excited about this new beginning. And it seems like for the most part you are. For the most part you are. But I feel like there may be just some... Um, some... I don't want to say regret because I don't have re regret here. Um, but let me just let me explain. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands present. So this is a new passion and beginning, all right? This is something that you're very excited for with the full card coming up. You're very optimistic about it, all right? This is something that you're rushing towards because it feels like it's going to bring you balance, okay? It feels like it's going to bring you balance. And I feel like whatever this is, is very important, which is why you're all about it. However, we do have the world in reverse. So you may be feeling reluctant to end the current cycle, or maybe there's someone that you're dealing with that doesn't want this to end. If this is a relationship, maybe the other person knows it's over, but they don't want it to be. Clarifying with the nine of pentacles. If this is a job, this could be like your yeah, boss loves you, your co-workers love you, they don't want to see you go, but you got to branch on off and go do your own thing because you need to have this, um, that stability, that, that, that king of pentacles energy that was at the bottom of the deck, okay? All right, that's what you're headed towards. So you are chariot with the six of wands six of wands is the energy in the middle of this reading which is success victory uh recognition okay you are rushing towards this you are driven you uh you want this you want to have success okay um and you're gonna stop at nothing you're gonna make sure that you get that however eight of cups energy this is what i'm saying like you don't want to walk away from you know what you're walking away from, or it's hard to walk away from it. Clarify that Eight of Cups. Magician in reverse. So I feel like um, you're reluctant. You're unsure. 
So it's not that you don't want to leave because you definitely do. But I do feel like people around you don't want to see you go. I mean, that's cute. You know, people like you or whatever. Um, but I feel like there is some reluctance or some like fear that you might be making a mistake. Okay. Um, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. Like really emotionally unsure energy. But is it because you you also it feels like it's just hard to say goodbye. You like the people that you're surrounded by, you like your community, you want to hold on to them. And honey, you gotta understand, like you're not gonna lose them. That's what you got social media for. That's what you got phone num phone numbers for. Like there are ways to contact these people. It's just you got to do what's best for you, okay? So it's just not necessarily regret, but maybe a little bit of sorrow. Like you don't want to leave. They don't want to see you leave. You're a little unsure. You're a little nervous about this new beginning as well. Um, but you're going to do it anyway. Emperor energy, boss energy. Um, with the knight of, I'm sorry, with the page of wands. So you do have that fire under your ass, that inspiration that uh, explorative nature, like you're about this, but you are just a little reluctant, a little scared, because you don't know. This might be something that is completely new to you, something that you've never done before. Um, you might be traveling somewhere that you've never been before. So you're just like unsure of the future, but also very excited about the future, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get the monology messages for you, Leo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Emotions are running high. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Emotions are running high. Like, I feel like it's a happy yet sad occasion. All right. Um, and then show the world the real you. So if this was a job, maybe um, you have to maintain a certain image or be a certain way. But now that you're branching off on your own. You can do you, okay? If this was a relationship, um, same thing. Perhaps you had to be a certain way in that relationship, but now that you're free of it, uh, you could do you, okay? Uh, so let's get some rebel messages for you. Rebel, rebel. Talk nice or don't. I don't care, but please tell Leo what they need to hear. And for those of you all who, well, I'm going to pull them anyway. Whether it's a relationship or not, it may still resonate. Um, but tell me more about the situation with the love oracles. Aww. One more, please. This is so nice. This is so nice. All right. So you have to do this thing, okay? You have to walk away from the current cycle because you are about to enter into a stage of abundance. We have the abundance card with keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Stop acting like you, you're scared to manifest or you're man, trying to manifest out of fear. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Be I want to be rich or whatever. Like, tell them, okay? Tell them, okay? The next one we have is unconditional love. Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. All right? That is what's pushing you here because you got to do what's best for yourself out of love for yourself. And then finally, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So that's like that ace of swords energy. Also, I can see this being like the chariot energy, which is showing up here in your reading, like force going full steam ahead because you have to do what's going to make you happy and take care of you ultimately. All right. And then your rebel messages say, you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly crying on. Let that shit go. Let that shit go and your soul will thank you. I mean, if none of the people involved here, including yourself, want to uh, let you go, then maybe y'all all could just have a big ugly cry party. I don't know. Just be a big ball of ugly crying humans. I don't know. Um, the next one says, don't look at anyone. Don't talk, don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. So... After you say your goodbyes, maybe a little bit of hermit energy so that you can process, get yourself together, understand that this is not a mistake. Stop being so fearful, okay? And finally, take a fucking trip. I told y'all that some of y'all might be traveling to somewhere that y'all ain't never been before, all right? Um, go see some shit. 
um, go do some things, talk to people cooler than you. All right, for some of you all, this is like you're leaving, leaving, you're leaving where you're currently at and everybody's sad about it, but it's going to be for your own good, okay? Take a leap of faith, baby. All right, all right, so let's get some advice for you and your postcard from spirit. Advice. What is the advice? Why is all of the advice in the reverse? I don't understand. Postcard from Spirit. Mm, okay, I see what y'all are saying. I see what y'all trying to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the advice. You have the chariot showing up in your reading as well. Chariot in the reverse. If you give up on this. The will of fortune is going to be in the reverse. If you don't see this through, you're going to screw yourself. Okay. And you're going to be in this Father of Cups energy, which you are in. But this is, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be on a more, um, I feel like you're going to manifest that energy by not doing this. So you may kind of be unsure um, emotionally, you know, with this situation. But if you let that, if you let your, insecurity your your lack of confidence um the fact that you're unsure prevents you from taking this opportunity what you're going to manifest is more bad luck and you are going to regret it with the five of cups all right you're going to regret it it's going to become one of the things that you uh cry over the spilled milk it's going to become the spilled milk that you cry over all right if you do not do this, if you do not take this opportunity, you are going to regret it, okay? So don't overthink this, just, just do it, okay? All right, so your postcards from Spirit say, Dear you, sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. You're not heard or even that you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. Although your feelings tell you abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone, and when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected so something better can replace what wouldn't have worked out in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you, we love you, and you are a unique spark of the universe and always connected to the light and the source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever. I feel like with this card, some of you all, the reason why you don't want to let go of this situation or you're having a difficult time moving away from it is because you might have some type of abandonment issues. And this place, this job, this relationship is your safe place. So having the opportunity um, to leave it for you know a greater opportunity is what is the root of your uh, insecurity okay um the next card says dear you oh my things are getting stirred up and changes upon you this is a cause for celebration no need to be nervous no need to be nervous but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life the funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear but rather in spite of it or even because of it. Step into the unknown. Let go of the branch that you're clinging to, that comfort zone, all right? And let spirit take the wheel and help you steer to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said? 
Take one step towards the gods and they'll take 10 towards you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right. Don't be afraid to dance. Love you always. That will of fortune is a card of destiny. They over here cha cha for you. Doing a little destiny cha cha for you. This is meant to be, Leo. So let it happen. Enjoy it. Okay? Be optimistic about it. All right? So this is your reading, Leo. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading. And until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you love and light and everything right. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.